welcome back to another episode of the Last Island of Survival Today we're to boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen We're feeling squeaky clean, but We still require one other thing And that is a quick little restroom break Cause listen, we got a day full of adventure And I don't want no vitamin P messing us up like it did Quite a few fateful days ago To be fair, that was in Sector 7, completely a different beast, but welcome back everybody. Hopefully y'all you're a little low. English is hard. You're all having an absolutely incredible day of the most amazing variety that only keeps on getting better from here on out, whether that be from the video, bringing you a smile, bringing you a giggle, anything or everything like that. Does not matter to me how a little bit of happiness. Ooh, we got a junkyard event. Let's make our way over there. But it does not matter to me how a little bit of that happiness might be able to make its way into your lives today, especially since it is the weekend. So hopefully everyone has an absolutely incredible weekend plan, some awesome jazz going on, some rest and relaxation relaxation and overall just some jolly good happiness to come in your way and which event is this oh baby this is my favorite of the junkyard events it's the raider junkyard uh, hopefully we got enough firepower we got a lack of pantalones we got travis covering our back we're ready to go to war, ladies and gentlemen, so wish me a little bit of luck. <coughs> Smash that like button that gives us all the luck in the world, 100% scientifically guaranteed. And without further ado, me and the derp, Travis, we got some cleaning up to do. The Dar Raiders! Woo! And the first domino has fallen, but he did not topple over the other dominoes, because apparently they did not notice, if you guys can tell from that radar in the top right hand corner, the fact that their friend had perished just a few feet away from them. One thing that the Raiders are not known for is, well, brain cells. They don't exactly have those. I, I'm not sure that they have any, to be completely honest. I think that they are just sophisticated looking zombies that may or may not be capable of using guns. But we'll use this to our advantage as we go ahead and take down some more of these schmucks. Let's get to healing a little bit. Okay, I maybe did not have to use that first aid kit, but I did overreact a little bit. I Big brain time, y'all. I remember to use the self-healing skill in the bottom left-hand corner. If y'all... If y'all know me, you know that that is a big step in the right direction because my brain is small brain when it comes to remembering that skill over there. But not today. Today, the brain is big brain. And oh, baby. So we got three more of these schmucks over here that we got to deal with. We got plenty of firepower to hopefully get the job done. As a wise man once said, YOLO DAH! Right, oh my god, dude, they were doing so much damage to me there for a second. Luckily, we should be able to fend it off. We got plenty of medical supplies. And wow, I may have panicked a bit too hard at the beginning there, but I just saw my health dropping like a dang rock in the middle of the ocean. Let's freaking go. That's a blue durability shotgun. Any time that these dudes drop any blue durability stuff, that's a big win. Guess what? It's a shotgun. That's an even bigger win. Oh, and guess what? We got a lot of wins coming our way today. Ladies and gentlemen, because after we clean up this little junkyard event, oh, I am so excited for what I got to show y'all. Big things are coming. What's up, my dude? You comfy on that tree over there? You good? Okay. Don't mind me. Yeah, I guess you don't need help or anything. That's okay. You know. Oh, a camera. How nice. But mainly, I care about the gas. And luckily, over at the chopper that we actually took to get here in the first place, we have quite a lot of empty water bottles. Why is this good? Well, ooh, band-aid. You'll love to see it. Uh, pantalones. Mm, I may despise you, pantalones, but, you know, I will take you for safekeeping. Because let me just say, ever since I got the greatest underwear in the world that just... This this outfit, y'all, I'm sorry. I just, like, I don't want to wear anything else. I just want to wear military armor minus the pantalones plus the Travis on our back. Can I change the color of my beard to green? Honestly, we might be making some even bigger changes. Like, I said I had some big stuff in store for y'all, but this, this beard stuff that I just brought up might actually end up being bigger. Let's freaking go! Dude, that is not common loot. Treat for dogs? This lets us actually feed our true friend doggos and have them continue like, uh, I don't know, like not get tired when they're out adventuring with us. Speaking of which, I haven't brought the true friend doggos along for a ride in a hot minute. Maybe we should let them, honestly, I don't think Travis has met our true friend doggos at all. So, oh man, Travis, you're gonna be in for a treat. All right, Lexi, she is a G, I tell you what. Let's go! This is the event that keeps on giving, baby! 
ATV car battery. Oh my god. Listen, I know I was wishing y'all a fan for fantastic day. I have did this, my day starting out fan freaking fantastic. So hopefully some of this fan freaking fantasticness can carry over to y'all, whether that be in last day on earth with y'all hopefully getting your hands on some incredible loot or uh what you call even just real life and maybe i don't know getting awesome loot in real life although i don't know how good of an idea it might be to raid someone's base in real life because i think that may or may not be home invasion and a felony so uh don't recommend doing that in real life keep keep the raids to last day on earth speaking of which as y'all may have seen from our motorcycle we are prepared for a little bit of a raid later today amongst other things but that's not the super hype thing i was talking about there are even other things in store but okay let's get back to the motorcycle over here because i am wanting to siphon all the gas that we possiblemente can and we still got two more groups of raiders that we go to take down so for now let's try and activate this alarm over here which has somehow not attracted any attention whatsoever to us. Okay, usually that does the trick, but I guess not. Let's activate this one. Now we got this raider making his way over here so we can actually pick him off one by one. His friends will not notice, and that is good because dealing with raiders one at a time. Let me just say, significantly easier than being shot at by five people at once. Because being shot at five people, uh, English hard, being shot at by five people at a time. There we go. It's, it's painful. And, uh, well, once we suffer enough pain, our health goes to zero and our life goes to death. So, no, thank you. Okay, let's go and activate this thing over here. Let's bring this fella over here and... See you later, Raider Gator. There we go, we got another one perishing, although I also happened to disintegrate all of his full SWAT armor that he had. He was kind of swagged out a little bit, but, well, then, then my bullets got the best of him, unfortunately. Let's use up these band-aids for a little bit of heals. Our hat is about to break, hopefully it holds up, because we do have a little 2v1 over here we gotta deal with. Oh, please don't let me die! Okay, okay, I'm getting a little bit close to death, but... One medikit later, and we were able to survive, and let's go, blue durability pistol! And nothing useful from you at all. Very cool. Not. Alright, what about you, Mr. Chopper? You got a lock. I am not in the lock business, personally, but... Maybe I know a guy. I'll see- No, Jake, JK. I'm not bringing that lock home, bruh. What am I gonna use a lock for? Alright. I actually- I don't know. I've, like- A, a, a genuine question. Like- have these things ever been used? I feel like maybe the trader asks for them sometimes, but otherwise, I genuinely don't know if I have ever actually seen a use for this. And I don't usually- Oh, I'm dying of thirst. That's not good. That's not good. Okay, there we go. Less thirst, death, dying. But what should call? Yeah. I don't usually deal with the, the trader too much, so I don't even know. Is that, like, something that- he asked for? I feel like he asked for it sometimes, but like, probably not a lot of the time. But still, holy guacamole. This junkyard event is treating us right. And if we could find, because these choppers do have a chance of dropping ATV car batteries as well. If we could find another car battery, I've literally, from this event before, gotten two car batteries. That is probably the best. Oh, hello, this raider is coming to investigate. Yes, your friend may have died over there. And guess what? You're gonna die right on top of him. Did you drop your shotgun? Let's freaking go! This event gave us two shotguns! Oh, lordy lordy. I cannot believe my eyes. <laughs> the only thing that could make this better would be another ATV car battery from this last... Oh, come on. Let's make it happen. Let's make greatness happen together, Raiders, okay? You guys will now die. And then your chopper will give to me ATV car battery. Do you think we could make this greatness happen? Oh, and another pistol. Bro, I cannot believe my eyes right now. This is incredible. This is why I love the Raider version of this event. Unfortunately, not what we were looking for. But we got quite a lot of... Uh, quite a lot of gas in the form of our bottles which is definitely pretty nifty if you ask me and let's just go and actually loot up the mm, i think we've looted up pretty much everything not much more for us to take a ganda at so i believe the junkyard is nice and cleared out it might be our time to exit 
a stage left and I am not complaining. Actually, we do have room on the back of our chopper for an engine. So let's go ahead, let's uh, pop the hood, pop the trunk on some of these because let's go, we got the blue engine. The blue engine is the better of the possible engines that you can get. There is also the rusty engine that is just straight up like super gray slash black slash brown, whatever this color is, but we got the blue one and the blue engine is indeed better. I've seen some people say before that the blue engine's not better. No, the blue engine's better. You literally get like more points for trading it in over at the gas station when you're talking to a mechanic Jane when you're trying to like get points for leveling up your chopper and that type of stuff. I don't really have to do that though because I've leveled up my chopper pretty happily and I like stockpiling things, but yeah, I'm gonna continue stockpiling the blue engines and because having an engine on the back of our chopper is really good because one of the versions of the junkyard event that can appear is literally a guy who sits in this little chair and asks for an engine. So if you have an engine already on the back of your chopper, like, you're good to go. You don't even have to go through the shenanigans that that event has if you try to get an engine through the event itself. Trust me when I say there are shenanigans. No, you don't gotta do that if you come with an engine. So we're kind of prepared for that. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's start walking our way back home and uh, <laughs> let's get to the fun, shall we? So this right here, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is the fun that I was talking about. The fiery pack, which was available just last week. We actually copped all 12 possible crates you could get. This was one of the limited time packs. I believe it was actually for the Brazilian carnival event. They had this little pack going on and well I had to go ahead and cop and we're gonna be doing a little bit of a festive opening hopefully if luck is on our side we'll be able to get some very good weapons I don't get why the M16 is more rare than the AK although I'm not complaining because the AK is better than the M16 I'm just confused but I'm confused in a good way because I want more AKs so hopefully this will lead to more AKs but definitely want some scars and we are guaranteed some pretty good stuff regardless of what goes down so without further Further ado, wish me a little bit of luck, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Let's get to popping this open. And nothing lucky has gone down yet, but we do still have 10 more draws. Oh my God, are you serious? Really? Come on, give me an 8K instead of that, bro. Don't tease me. If I can, do not do this to me. If you're gonna give me a very rare, give me the scar fiery pack. This is not cool. Not cool, dude. If those, if that is the only rare items that I get out of this pack, I am gonna be upset. Okay, I got the Kalashnikov 47. I am happy. Kalashnikov, very good, very powerful gun. We're about halfway, not about, we are halfway through the packs over here. We got some pretty decent guaranteed stuff over there because whenever there are like these limited time crates and packs that do come out, I always like grabbing them just so we can do a little bit of a limited time unboxing and just show off kind of their contents with the Lux looking like any and all that type of jazz. But yeah, especially when it's like a limited time thing. It is something I try and do. Okay, okay, we got two AKs, two M16s. I'm more hyped about the AKs, but I'm not gonna complain about the M16s, except that's exactly what I've been doing. But how about some scars, eh? Game, how about some of those nifty weapons that I had to blow through a ton of to get through Bunker Bravo? How about you give me some of those back? Eh? Eh? The answer is no. It's cool. That was not very swag of you, game. But that's okay, y'all. We got a little bit more opening to do. And this pack has some better guarantees, if you ask me. This was also something that was available as soon as just as as late as just last week. I don't know. It was definitely available last week. It was actually the season five pack that was going on called the Winter Fun Pack. I went ahead. I copped six of them, and if luck is on our side, dude, we might even be able to get some grenade launchers, which would be incredible, but we are guaranteed some pretty nice weapons. We, we can only get six of these, though, but I'm not complaining. There are still some decent guarantees. Now, if I could just get a little bit of luck and pull some of those weapons from the bottom, that would be hype, bro. Don't even do this to me, man. Please. Can I have little bit of luck game? Oh my God. It's like whenever there are very good weapons on the line, the game's like, no, you do not get that. You just get the vanilla weapons. Like, come on, bro, a scar, a grenade launcher, something. They're not even extremely rare. They're just very rare right now, dude. Please, oh my God, this is our last pull. Brother, do not do this to me. Like, I, 
I can't complain because the pack, it's still a pretty good pack. Like you guys saw some of the guns we were guaranteed to get from it. And this is why I do like the limited edition crates because they tend to be a lot better bang for your buck versus just like some of the normal crates that are available which is why I don't really like get the normal crates. But yeah, man, come on, Winter Fun Pack. Let's have some fun, shall we? Come on, baby, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no. Bruh, 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 bruh. Why, why am I this unlucky? Why do you do this to me, game? This is not cool. This is not cool at all. Well, Hopefully your boys and girls luck was a little bit better if you did decide to uh, cop any of those crates because as y'all can tell my luck was uh, well it definitely was not that great that is pretty easy to see so to go ahead and alleviate some of our stress and frustrations let's hop into a little bit of multiplayer action here and uh, try to loot up a few red zones because as we have seen red zones give some incredible loot and whatnot but before we do that i'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of the loot away so we have a little bit more inventory room for what really matters and uh, why don't we go i'll bring the handmade rifle with us oh that 32 damage is nice as our weapon of choice should things hit the fan also let's grab a single band-aid Possiblemente, because I do need to heal like the tiniest bit right now. Yeah, I'll bring two band-aids, why not? I just gotta heal like a little bit. Let's just go ahead and get to healing because we were about 40 health short of full. And we're just gonna continue stockpiling a little bit because now that this whole new multiplayer system is in place, it's just so much easier to switch between single player and multiplayer. And because of that, like I kinda want to dive dip our toes in the multiplayer a little bit more. And currently we are kind of in the phase where we are trying to get our hands on some proper tools, ladies and gentlemen, because they're awesome proper bosses we go go and take down the devourer the miner we've taken down the devourer before but honestly we've yet to conquer the miner the miner is a tough cookie and for him well we need the proper tools to take him down there's also the crossroads events which we have yet to successfully complete so we are trying to get our hands on some good loot and no better way than the red zones especially because the new sector 7 update made it significantly easier to actually uh whatchamacall significantly easier to actually uh english hard loot made it easier to loot oh there's a floater floater right there i'm out i'm out i'm out i'm out i'm out okay that is not a good show of what i was talking about but no it made it significantly easier because no longer are there like a ton of enemies protecting each chest like no longer do chests specifically spawn enemies right by them enemies just kind of spawn in random locations and so do chests which makes it significantly easier to loot up some chests especially if you're lucky and they are completely unprotected which is honestly what I am hoping for. But let me know what you boys and girls did think of the crates we popped open. Which crate did you enjoy more? If any of y'all did happen to get those crates yourself, how was your luck? Did you manage to get luckier than me? Because that's probably not a very high benchmark. I think that that is uh, uh, pretty doable because our luck was pretty poop. We got a couple of M16s and AKs from the Fiery Pack, which honestly... I think I liked, I liked more. Ooh, hazmat pantalones. You love to see it. But yeah, like our, our luck in that winter pack, like technically speaking, the winter pack should give you like better stuff because all the like extra stuff you could get was very rare. Whereas like with the fiery pack or no, with, yeah, with the fiery pack, the other stuff was like extremely rare. But for some reason, we got more extremely rare stuff than we did very rare stuff. Because in the winter pack, we got no very rare stuff whatsoever so little bit upset by that but i'm not here to talk about what upset me i'm just here to talk about uh, which crate i enjoyed more and personally that fiery pack was a little bit kinder to me but let me know what you boys and girls did think of those crates what y'all are thinking of sector 7 thus far or even let me know what y'all thought of that junkyard event that we happened to hit up today because that was genuinely one of the best junkyard events we've gotten the only one that debatably i could call better is the one where that we got multiple car batteries from because 
car batteries are an extremely rare commodity and as awesome as the two blue durability shotguns we got were on top of the car battery personally i would just take an extra car battery over two of those shotguns you know okay so we got a flota bloat over here that we got to deal with in order to get to this chest so yolo let's get to work and scout right for this dude do his doom die flota bloat and die and he dropped a little bit of loot happy to swoop that up the rope will come in handy especially for us trying to uh, craft up some necessities and all that but here we got one of the chests of which there are usually two in these zones so we'll continue searching after this but the real reason that we want to hit up these red zones is not just for these raw resources we're finding but because there is the odd chance that we find something really good like hazmat pants or handmade rifles weapons and armor that we 100 are going to want to put to use when doing some of those harder boss battles or going towards a harder location like the crossroads event because i still want to see what kind of loot the crossroad event has for us after we actually deal with a lot of the potential problems there like the people that want to kill us i would consider that a pretty big problem and all right i'm trying i'm looking at my radar here i'm trying to figure out like the best way to traverse this area and okay, we just managed to get through there. I'm just trying to like not... There you go. There is the next one. We just got a toxic spinner we got to deal with. We just need a couple of... Oh, let's get a little bit of separation. Bop. And okay, I'm actually going to go and punch him to death here. Bop. Because I do not want to waste a shot of my scout rifle to do four damage to him. And then we got this chest over here. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no... Ah. Unfortunately, nothing that great. But some more supplies that we will be able to transform into better stuff as time it does go on but like i'm saying let me know in that comment section down below what y'all think about the crates and or the junkyard event and just in general what's your favorite version of the junkyard event that you do like to see and i'm low-key i want to run back here i want to see what this has in store for us and hopefully some more stuff we're just gonna keep on switching between a couple of these red zones here for a little bit then we'll go back we got a raid still lined up we still gotta knock that out no worries but make sure to let me know in that comment section down below absolutely cannot wait to hear from y'all and reminder that that comment is going to put you one third of the way into the weekly 25 dollar at two such place to a gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure the like button make sure to subscribe that lets you win on today's video y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on earth video when saturday rolls around we'll pick random video for the past week pick a random comment from that random video and that will be the winner for the week and we'll kick off in a weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with every single video y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway not to mention all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well and trust me if y'all like last day on earth great chance you will enjoy some of the other awesome survival games going up on the channel whether it be an existing series like seven days to die that y'all should definitely check out if you haven't already or brand new series that i cannot wait to start on the channel because there are some incredible new games coming out very soon that we're gonna have some incredible series going on with and what 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 this is the same zone we looted? What? How do we get it to respawn? To be different? Bro, okay, I think what we might need to do, I think we need to visit the crater and we actually gotta wait for these locations to move or something. Bro, that's whack. All right, well, I guess it gives us a good opportunity here to run back to the crater, drop off some of the stuff we found. I love all the tuna we're finding, although I still don't get why tuna made me pee that one time. I'm very upset by that. And if you don't know the context, you're probably very confused, but the tuna made me pee and I died. That sentence would not make sense in anything besides last day on Earth. But to th if you know, you know that it makes a lot of sense but i love the hazmat pants we found that'll go great with our hazmat shoes that we're rocking over there along with some of this other jazz that we are capable of putting away and our inventory is starting to fill up we might just start using the clan storage a little bit oh looks like somebody else is utilizing it from our clan i will do my best not to take their stuff because well i would never want to do that to a comrade of mine we are after all well clan members but all righty then Let's get back to battle, shall we? And hopefully, some of these locations have moved, like I was saying. But make sure that notification bell hit because there are some other awesome series going on, like Seven Days to Die, and some other awesome ones that are going to be starting soon. So definitely check out the videos whenever you do see a new one. Okay, they're, they're like, I, I don't think we can travel back to these, man. So, I don't know. Let's check out 
Let's check out a yellow zone, maybe, that's, like, near one. Ah, uh, I don't know. Let's check out a yellow zone. I've never really checked out a yellow zone. I've mainly been focusing on the red zone, so let's give the yellow zones a little bit of love. See what they're all about. But, uh, yeah, definitely check out those videos if you do see a new one going up on the channel, because there's a great chance you will, like, fall in love with some of the other stuff that we are checking out. Because if you're, if, I don't know, if you're like me, I love Last Day on Earth, and I love a lot of the other games that we are checking out. So definitely make sure to go ahead and uh, give those... Oh, look, especially if it's something like a new game that you've yet to see on the channel. Like, definitely, that is prime territory for something you should be giving a look. And hello, Toxic Spitter. Uh, goodbye, Toxic Spitter. Let's just go ahead and uh, get rid of this so I can now punch you to death, a mother trucker. And uh, yeah, that notification bell, by the way, is also a great way of staying in the loop with all the latest and greatest of Last Day on Earth as well. Because as soon as any new information does come out about the future of Last Day on Earth, future updates, future seasons, future multiplayer stuff, any and all that type of jazz, we are spreading it to y'all absolutely ASAP. Not to mention, as soon as a new update itself does come out or just anything new is added to the game, we are checking that out absolutely ASAP and showing off all that the newness does have to offer. New locations, new enemies, new battles, new bosses. We are tackling all of those. We're diving headfirst into them, and we're having an absolutely fan freaking tastic time doing exactly that. Oh no, don't get spit on! That's not what I'm looking forward to. And let's just punch this dude up. Bop! Death. But uh, yeah, that notification bell is a great way to stay in the loop with the latest and greatest of last day on Earth as well. And let's just get to looting this up. And I don't know if there's like a third chest in yellow zone locations, but if there is. I do want to explore this zone a little bit. Cause I'm just, I'm not as familiar with yellow zones as red zones. Although it looks like there's a lot more enemies scattered throughout here. Not as tough enemies, but I, I, it feels like there's just more enemies. Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe it is placebo effect. I just so happen to be seeing more enemies. Oh, okay, I'm out of here. Do not want to be sticking around with that many dudes chasing me down. Oh, baby! Nice, the red zone moved. I think that's a sign that we can actually safely travel here. Don't know if that one has respawned yet, but we can definitely go to this zone. But yo, with this whole new map system that is going on with uh, Sector 7, I really hope another thing that I really want to see, I want to see events pop up, man. I hope that that's one of the next updates that we do also get for Sector 7. And let me know what y'all might want to think, like what y'all think about that as well in that comment section down below. Like, wouldn't it be cool if we got some kind of unique events that popped up with like a timer similar to the events in single player like an airdrop for example or other jazz like that i don't know i personally think that that could be incredibly cool feel free to let me know what y'all think about that in that comment section down below as well and oh baby we already got another chest yeah i love to see it but uh yeah looking forward here to what y'all gotta say let's go the mres are really good y'all that heal it's it's like tuna where it heals you over time but the MRE heals you significantly more, so we don't need to spam it as much as the tuna, which might save us from a tuna death. Something that we have experienced. And nice, dude. Nice. These chests are super unprotected, so easy lootings for us. And then, uh, yeah, I'm out. I got the two chests of the zone. And nothing else here for us. Let's do one more red zone if we can, if this, if this limestone zone has something for us. If not, that's A-OK. -okay. But hopefully the fact that this one respawned means that this one's loot is respawned, so... Time will tell, I suppose. But yeah, y'all, I cannot wait for some of the new stuff coming to last day on Earth, like freaking season six, all just all the future seasons and showing off all that they have to offer and just regardless of how tough some of the things might be, listen, like, we are... We're going in guns a-blazing, bro. Okay? Even if we might not know what dangers await us, oh, we're going kitted to the teeth we're gonna have all the best armor that we can we're gonna be utilizing all the weapons that we can and we're gonna be taking down all the enemies that we can and hello toxic spitter let's go and deal with you rather swiftly here oh you're not gonna spit on me well that's unfortunate bop let me just knock you upside the noggin and we got one of the chests over here which we should be able to loot up without this floater bloater noticing us which is nice because floater bloaters are very tough enemies oh Steel pipes, you say? That is not something I have seen actually yet out of any of our looting. Uh huh. If I'm not mistaken, I believe steel pipes are a pretty valuable resource for uh, creating smooth barrels, or I, I think so. I I think that they do somehow relate to the smooth barrel, which is how we can actually manually 
craft some of the guns over here, you know? So I'm just saying, kind of a pretty cool little coincidence there. <laughs> I like it. But speaking of the giveaway, also to want to remind y'all that, uh, how do I say this? Oh yeah, today I believe is the day known as a, a, a Saturday. Oh, that means that today we're announcing the winner of this past week's $25 iTunes Hatch Play Store gift card giveaway. It's actually going to be available in that pinned comment in that comment section down below. Make sure you go ahead and check that pinned comment where you will be able to see the winner. Oh no, I'm getting out of here. I'm going to run in and out of this zone so we don't have to deal with this guy. But you will be able to see the winner of this past week's giveaway. If that winner is you, make sure to reply to that pinned comment in that comment section down below. Let me know the best way that I can privately get in contact with you to go ahead and hook you up with that code that you have Vaughn, and if you are not the winner from this past week, then best of luck in the brand new weekly $25 iTunes Play Store gift card giveaway. And kick it off today, because today is Saturday, so today is the first day that y'all can enter in on. And then next Saturday, we will be picking another winner, as we do every week from this week's upcoming videos. Randomly chosen comment from randomly chosen videos, so best of luck to y'all. And... I need a little bit of luck because I have no clue how to explore the southern part of this map because there's just like a lot of enemies and like really okay there we go we we're able to barely sneak through there unfortunately this is just a very oh no okay somehow the toxic spitters did not chase after us but dude this is such a just like this is such a nasty just like okay hold on eh eh oh there we go there's the chest we were looking for we just oh there's an oozer by it Yo, I don't know about this, y'all. I don't know. Okay, we got, yeah. I don't know if we're going to be able to get that last chest. There's an oozer by it, and oozers are... <laughs> they are not friendly campers. Hmm. Unfortunate, unfortunate, unfortunate. Do we maybe try to tussle with the oozer, though? Like, we do have a pretty powerful weapon here, but at the same time, do we save this for something more valuable? Because all the oozer's protecting is like a chest. Nah, I, I, I think. Let's just start walking home to the crater. And the oozer's a pretty big battle. And I'm not sure I want to take that battle for a red chest. Because as y'all have seen, those red chests are pretty easily accessible without having to deal with the 300 health enemy that is a uh, pretty, pretty tough dude. You know? But without further ado, let's make our way back to our single player base. Let's drop off some of the loot we got from that junkyard event and let's prepare for today's raid. And alrighty y'all, let's get this show on the road because we got more than enough firepower to accomplish what we're looking to do after we craft the hatchets necessary for today's raid. Because there's a fella by the name of Player5566. Or is it Player6655? I don't remember, but there's a player, he's got a name and a number and, and, and we're looting him. Yeah, this has been story time by Star. Very great story. I know I am greatest storyteller in the universe. Uh, wait until my next tale, because I have many, many great ones to tell. But for now, to player 5566 we go. With just enough firepower to get the job done. Still looking incredible with Travis. Like, I, like, I don't know, man. I used to always love wearing SWAT armor because, well, it was harder to die in SWAT armor, but... This is just too perfect of an outfit, dude. I can't undo it. No pantalones. Travis on the back. And military armor besides that. That's the brand new Star Snipe approved wardrobe. <laughs> but all right. Hockey ducky, my daughter chokies. It is time to get to the raid. <laughs> and that means we need the hatchets i do want to see if maybe these two iron hatchets might be able to get the job done but before the job is done another job need to be done we need to break into a level one wall and guess what once this wall is broken into oi oi vey look at that oh we have created the invisible barrier that means that zombies cannot enter through here they are too thick i unfortunately for the zombies am not zombie thick i'm just Star thick, which is a little bit less thick than a zombie. As such, I can fit through that little crevasse, but they cannot. So that means as we continue causing up a ruckus, dude, 
dude that's actually sick that those iron hatchets had just enough durability to get the job done you love to see it but uh now what this means is that we do not need to worry about zombies whatsoever we can happily loot in peace and there should be a good chunk of loot for us to loot up so let's get oh let's go m16 dude today has been such a lootastic type of day like i love what i am seeing overall today just been a great freaking day y'all because like i'm starting to feel significantly better from being sick which is a big reason that for the past couple ooh, shiny for the past couple of days has only been like one video going up a day pretty much just because i've, I've been dying of of the sickness okay luckily i have not become a zombie or have i have i turned to the other side dun dun <laughs> all right let's continue looting this up but no i have not to my knowledge hopefully not i don't know but but yeah i'm i'm feeling like way better than the last like literally like the last like just the last few days it's been it's it's been it's been bad like i've just literally just been like refined not refined defined uh, I, i've pretty much just been in bed for the past two days like i have not left that place like that's how bad i've been feeling but I think all the rest, it's 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 adding up because I'm feeling way freaking better, which means videos will be returning to the usual frequency if all continues going well, which is hopefully the way that it will continue going. Oh, Lord, I am dying of the the hunger, which is not good. Also, I'm dropping a lot of frames for some reason right now, which is really odd. I think it's all the zombies that there are on the map. So let's kind of lure them over here and deal with these guys a little bit. So hopefully, like, I, I, I don't know, because my game started, like, lagging a little bit, and I think it's because there's just, like, too many zombies on this screen right now, because after all, there are, like, literally three waves of zombies. We That's literally what it was. My game stopped lagging now. There was just too many zombies on the map. Oh, Lord. Talk about terrifying. <laughs> I was going to say, man, because usually I get, like, 30 frames per second of playing Last Day on Earth. Dude, I was literally getting, like, 15 frames a second there for a second for a second frames for a second squared i don't know let's continue killing these dudes but yeah in great news i like it's like not just as our as the loot been incredible today but i am just feeling so much freaking better which is great because when i'm not feeling like i'm dying it's just i don't know it's a lot easier to enjoy playing the games you know what i mean but let's go and enjoy taking down the toxic abomination and enjoy looting up the rest of these chests and i mean I, we pretty much looted up like uh, most of the good stuff that these chests do have to offer i guess we just like do take all on these chests to kind of stack anything that could potentially be good i will probably not grab those tin cans by the way those are just temporary no need to worry the tin cans will go away uh but how much noise are we at oh i still need a hatchet i blew through all those hatchets for real dog well hot diggity dog broski I, really? I guess we did break a couple of workbenches here and there, too. I was going to say, I only broke five chests, but we did also break some workbenches. Let's see what we got within here. And then it will be time to tally up the loot. Yeah, just a couple of truck saw blades. Not that incredible. But uh, at this point, it's just time for us to kind of tally up the loot and figure out exactly what we are going to be taking home because we, our eyes have seen all the loot that the base has to offer. And now it's just a question of what our hands are going to put inside of Travis, the backpack for us to bring home as loot <coughs> for this faithful day. Love the M16 that we got. Red ticket's always nice. Wrench and electronic circuit. Ah, stop with the dying! No, not cool, man. To be fair, I probably should have listened to my dude's warning that he's thirsty. But you know what? I'll listen to him later. For now, I'm listening to me. But uh, with this raid kind of wrapped up, I'm just going to go ahead and tally up exactly what I want to grab from here. And, well, let's going to go to start bringing an end to this episode a Last Day on Earth Survival. So best luck in the brand new weekly $25 access Play Store gift card giveaway, everybody. Make sure you check that pinned comment in that comment section down below for the winner from this past week. And they cannot wait because with each passing week, we approach season six which i cannot wait for not to mention i just can't wait for like the next multiplayer update too like everything for the future is looking bright right now dog and i'm excited i'm looking forward to it especially because it means we might get more pants but i mean 
more underpants. <laughs> but with that said, with that done, that's going to start wrapping it up for me for now. Thank you guys for holding for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.